Hello everyone, this is Nick here. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Sims 4 Get to Work Expansion Pack. In this review, I'm going to be comparing this expansion pack a lot to The Sims 3 Ambitions Expansion Pack because this pack was basically supposed to give us, the whole purpose of this pack was to give us new careers, which is what The Sims 3 Ambitions also did for The Sims 3. But the reason why I'm going to be comparing it is because this expansion pack is really lacking comparing to what we got for the sims 3 ambitions like it's pathetic how much this get to work expansion pack is lacking and how little content they gave us compared to what we got in sims 3 ambitions as usual i'm going to start with the negatives and then with the positives the first negative thing that i have to say about this pack is the pitiful world that it comes with it comes with the world of magnolia primate which only has four lots like what we've gotten bigger worlds in game packs i don't understand why the world would only have four lots in it that's disgusting in the sims 3 ambitions we got twinbrook like it came with the world of twinbrook which had a lot more than four lots it's just ridiculous the next negative thing is the whole purpose of this get to work expansion pack is to give us more careers is to give players more careers for the sims and this pack only came with a total of four careers the sims 3 ambitions we got 14 different career types and just so you guys don't think that I'm lying about the Sims 3 ambitions giving us 14 different career types I'm gonna name the careers that we got in the Sims 3 ambitions expansion pack architectural designer firefighter ghost hunter advent investigator stylist and a teaching career careers that Sims could get through self-employment in Sims 3 ambitions are a fishing career gardening painting writing nectar making photography inventing and sculpting so that together is altogether that's 14 new careers that the sims 3 included with their ambitions expansion pack sims 4 thought that it would be okay to charge us 40 dollars and give us an expansion pack will make us pay for an expansion pack really that only gives us four new careers and a world that only has four lots in it and the careers that the sims 4 get to work comes with is doctor detective scientist and a retail career the option to open a retail store like that's it like literally four new careers when the sims 3 ambitions gave us 14. it's just so it's, it's very disappointing it's really disgusting actually and also the option to open our own restaurants should have came with this expansion pack as well that should not have been a separate game pack the option to open our own restaurants should have come with this expansion pack since this expansion pack is about new careers now i'm going to move on to the positives of the get to work expansion pack even though there are hardly any positives okay the first positive i would have to say it does add aliens which is cool i like the fact that they add the alien occult to the game and it gives us like this secret hidden destination world to go to well, it's not a, I don't know what you call it. It's like it's like a secret world that we could visit called Six Sim, which is basically like an Avatar world. If you've ever seen the Avatar movie, they basically base this whole world off of the Avatar movie. I honestly would have been happy if they would have given us a residential alien world that we could live on with like purple grass and blue grass and like unique looking trees. That would have been really cool to have in this expansion pack. Like if they w didn't want to give us a regular residential world, they could have given us an alien residential world since aliens come with this pack but whatever i seriously hope they do add an alien residential world to the game at some point during this during the sims 4 franchise the create a sim items and build buy mode items are okay i guess but they're nothing special overall i give this pack a one out of five stars just because how much it's lacking compared to previous sims games that we've gotten in the past it's ridiculous how much this pack is lacking it does come with the doctor career detective career scientist career and i would only recommend a sims player buy this pack like i would only recommend someone to buy this pack if they really want to have the doctor career or the detective career or the scientist career and if they really want to open their own retail store in the sims 4 and also opening retail stores in the sims 4 are not exciting at all like i, I don't really understand the point yeah, so if you don't care about your Sims having a doctor career or being a detective or a scientist or owning a retail store, then I don't think this pack is worth buying. This pack also comes with the photography skill, so if your photography and baking skill, which honestly the photography and baking skill should have been included in the base game, but whatever. 
And also, if you're a fan of photography and baking, then this pack will be worth buying for you. And if you're a fan of aliens. Overall, I give the pack 2 out of 5 stars. It was very disappointing. And, this, and if this pack didn't have aliens in it, then it wouldn't even be getting a 2 stars for me. It would just be getting 1. But anyway, that's all for my review of the Sims 4 Get to Work expansion pack. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more Sims content, please be sure to subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.